Thank you for joining us. Moments with Mark. We're in Mark chapter 15, starting with verse 16. The soldiers took Jesus into the courtyard of the governor's headquarters called the Praetorium. He's in a government building. And they begin to torture Jesus and mock Jesus and ridicule Jesus. So the soldiers took Jesus into the courtyard of the governor's headquarters, and which was called the Praetorium, and called out the entire regiment, the entire battalion. They dressed him in a purple robe, and they wove uh, thorn branches into a crown and put it on his head. We first find thorns clear back in Genesis chapter 3, when Adam and Eve fell from their innocence, and we were cursed with thorns upon the ground. And Jesus is taking the curse of sin for us to the cross bearing the heavy weight of the curse of sin upon his shoulders. They dressed him in a purple robe, and they wove thorn branches into a crown and put it on his head. Then they saluted him and taunted him, Hail, King of the Jews, or Emperor of the Jews, as they would probably say it. Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him on the head with a reed, uh, something that would represent a, a scepter. And they struck him on the head with a reed, a scepter, a stick, and spit on him and dropped to their knees in mock worship. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him again. Then they led him away to be crucified. So ridicule and mockery uh, from these soldiers of the Roman government toward Jesus and his so-called kingship. Still today, Christians and the gospel is ridiculed and mocked. It's a favorite scheme of the enemy. You might be ridiculed and you might be mocked in these days that we live in, these days of chaos and division. You might be ridiculed and mocked for your faith, but stand strong. Jesus himself said, is the servant greater than the master? What they have done to me, they will do to you. And so we find ridicule and mockery still a weapon of the enemy today. So as we close out this moments with Mark, this Jesus who took ridicule and mockery and then went to the cross to die for your sins says to his followers, don't be surprised if you're ridiculed and mocked for your faith. Stand strong and be courageous. Be bold in your faith, especially in these days that we live in. Stand for Jesus. The old hymn says, stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. And so we should stand strong, stand up, be bold and courageous for our faith in these days we live in. Thank you for joining us for Moments with Mark. We'll catch you the next video. God bless you.